Today's topic is herpes simplex, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. The herpes simplex virus, or HSV, is responsible for causing the herpes infection. The infection can show up in different parts of the body, but appears most commonly on the mouth or genitals. There are two types of the virus. HSV-1 usually causes oral herpes. It leads to the development of fever blisters and cold sores on the face and around the mouth. HSV-2 is responsible for genital herpes. Let's look at the virus and its effect in detail. Causes Herpes simplex is an infectious virus that spreads from person to person. Anyone can get the disease at any age, with even children likely to get HSV-1 from parents infected by it. HSV-1 is usually contracted due to kissing, sharing food utensils, and sharing lip balm. You are likely to get HSV-1 during an outbreak, but you might never experience symptoms from it. HSV-1 is quite often contracted by people who have it but do not experience any symptoms. On the other hand, HSV-2 is exclusively contracted from sexual contact. It happens when a person comes into contact with a herpes sore. According to studies, 20% of all sexually active adults in the U.S. have an HSV-2 infection. However, you cannot get HSV-2 from someone who is asymptomatic. The most prominent risk factor for a herpes simplex infection is having sex without a condom. Other prominent risk factors for HSV-2 include 1. Being female 2. Having multiple sex partners 3. Being sexually active at a younger age 4. Living with a weakened immune system 5. Dealing with another sexually transmitted infection or STI Symptoms Common symptoms of herpes include 1. Blistering sores showing up in the genitals or the mouth 2. Itching in the affected areas 3. Feeling pain while urinating, exclusive to genital herpes Other symptoms you could feel are similar to flu, including 1. Swollen lymph nodes 2. Headaches 3. Fever 4. Tiredness 5. A lack of appetite HSV can also spread to the eyes, causing a unique condition known as herpes keratitis. This condition causes discharge from the eye, eye pain, and a grittiness around it. Diagnosis A herpes simplex diagnosis usually starts with a physical examination. A doctor will check for sores and infected areas. They will likely order a herpes culture test afterward, which takes a swab of liquid from the sore for testing. Blood tests for herpes antibodies can also help with the diagnosis. Treatment There is no cure for the herpes virus, with treatment focusing on decreasing the intensity of symptoms and lowering the chance of outbreaks. Common medications include femaciclovir, aciclovir, and valaciclovir. The medicines make the sores easier to deal with and decrease the chances of infecting other people with the virus. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.